Like many people, my next guest this morning, he struggles with health care issues. Now, his situation was made worse when his issues eventually led him to being homeless. He was once a working, productive man, but he found himself without a home and anywhere to turn to. Jim, thank you so much for being here with me I today. I appreciate the invite. Thank you. Jim, before all of this hit you, you were living a normal, peaceful, middle-class life. So what happened? Nineteen eighty-five, um, after normal educational life, practicing law, um, my ego discovered cocaine. And I was having a brilliant startup of a career, nothing but successes as a trial lawyer, and so I thought I could conquer the world. Well, the cocaine conquered me in 12 months. Um, after treatment, a couple treatments, I started getting time built up and resumed my life um, and was even more successful. Beautiful family, children, and a law practice that I was very, I guess proud is the right word. I was proud of what was accomplished. And then I decided one night to um, try some cocaine after nine years clean. Well, that lasted three whole months, worse than any cyclone I've ever seen in the damage. Family, homes, careers, all lost. Um, I was eventually able to get my license reinstated if I wanted to go back to that craziness. Um, ended up in Florida Keys about a decade, decade ago and uh, discovered f deep sea fishing. And within a couple of years, I had a captain's license. A couple more years, I had two boats. I uh, was enjoying a, a nice, peaceful, middle class life again. Uh, then I became ill. I had evidently contracted hepatitis C um, in 1986. It became active and the real destruction began. It's a totally debilitating disease. Uh, you, have a few, you have a dozen plus surgeries in the interim of a liver transplant. Uh, right now I'm awaiting a transplant but I'm high on a list. Uh, and they're just waiting for cancer to, to develop in the liver to put me on the top of the list. And I was fortunate enough to end up at FKOC after my living situation became intolerable for my lady. Now, Jim, whoa, y you have gone through so much in your lifetime. It's like every time you were getting yourself back together, you were getting back on your feet, you'd have another obstacle. And you just deal with it. Yesterday's gone, tomorrow and here and complaining about where you're at does no good. Jim, you, you were homeless for a while. You were sleeping on friends' couches or maybe you were staying in a hotel. But then as you mentioned, Jim, the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition, they came into your life. Yes. Did you walk through those doors or did they come to you? I went mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's good. Great people, great people. They've been nothing but supportive of my situation from the get-go. Mm -hmm. uh, they are deep, deep friends of mine. Which is wonderful. The FKOC has put you in this great place. It's handicap accessible. Are you happy in your life right now, Jim? Oh, yes. I've been happy for a long, long time. I, I just, yeah, I'm happy. I'm at peace. Um, I try to be supportive of other people. I try to help. I'm just, you know, not, an okay guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not, I'm not sad or depressed or angry. Um, don't have mood swings. I'm not like some people who curl up in their bed and die. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going with it, and that's giving me extra time. Now, Jim, what would your message be to people in the community or just everywhere as to how they view homeless people? As I read newspapers and listen to the council, and different people's um, extreme positions. Uh, what they need to know is what they see in their eye on a day-to-day -day basis, the people that are chronically dirty, chronically being going through the jail, cots, jail, cots, drinking on the benches. That is a minority of the homeless situation. 
people do get stuck in that lifestyle because they can't get out. They weren't. They never developed skills to get out, and they need help. Um, and majority of people have had a decent life, families, children, responsibility, obligations that they met, and they met a drug of choice or their health issues took them down. Mm -hmm. So it sounds too like it's it's an organization like the FKOC that can give these people a second chance, and that's just what they really need. People need a support system initially when they get off the street. Mm -hmm. And all these um, talks and, and dissing of a more giving environment are needed. Mm -hmm. It's needed to help people get on their feet. Because if one person makes it, it's worth all the investment. Wonderful. And, and you have made it, Jim, so I thank you for being well, it's on. it's been good to me. <laughs> it has. You have such a wonderful attitude and a wonderful outlook, and I thank you for being on this morning and sharing your story with us. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I will be right back after these messages. Stay with me.